Good morning, everybody. Alan Johnson here from Piranha Off-Road Products with an interesting little discussion for you. I'd like to talk to you and introduce you to a new product we have, which is called our AOC. AOC is an alternator output compensator, and it's a device we've created that allows you to get the full output of your variable voltage alternator at the full amperage at the correct voltage, which is something that's been impossible to do before. Typically, with smart alternators fitted to things like Parados, 200 series, 70 series V8s, the only way we've been able to really get the auxiliary battery charged correctly is to use a DC-DC device, which actually steps the voltage up. Now our new products just come onto the market, but unfortunately there's been some unscrupulous people on the internet selling products that actually look a little bit like ours. And the reality is, is if they were just a cheaper option, I wouldn't mind, but these things are actually dangerous. So what I'd actually like to give you is some knowledge and information so you will not be hoodwinked into something that could potentially be life-threatening. So let's go over and check it out. Okay guys, what we've got, in your vehicle you would have a conventional standard automotive fuse. The fuse looks something like this. How you can tell it's a fuse is if we put power in here, we've got power coming out that way, and we've got power coming out that way, okay? So it's a fuse. When you blow this fuse, it just blows like any ordinary fuse, nothing much happens. This is what's being put on the internet and people need to be very careful of. The problem with it is, it's got written on the top of it, 1.5. We would assume to the normal human being that it is a 1.5 amp fuse. It isn't. What I'd like to show you is how you check. If we put this onto power here, you've got nothing. That's because it's a diode. Flip it around the other way, and you've got power. So this is actually a one-way valve to electricity. And this is why this device will actually sort of work. What I'm going to show you is how dangerous it is in just a moment. This is our Piranha AOC, which is actually a circuit board based product, which behaves like a fuse, yet still gives us the same result we're looking for. Again, we've got power here. Turn him around, we've got power here. This behaves and reacts like a normal fuse because we're taking a fuse out. This is where this lives in your fuse box. So the next step is to show you what happens when we overload these things. So this is our fuse test. And as you'll see, that's it. So that was your fuse blowing, okay? Now, I'll put that blown up one there. So we'll do this one more time, as you can see. That's your automotive fuse blowing. Now, this is when it gets interesting. Yeah, imagine that in your car. We've got the water nearby if we need it. There we are, that's it. Okay, I'll turn that one off. Anything can happen. Some can go like that, some do nothing. Yeah, that's, that's, gone, that's gone quite acceptably. This is the thing is, it's the level of unpredictability. If that was in your car, you'd actually say that was quite an acceptable result. But look at that one first one we did. There's just no way of knowing. Jesus. Anyway, we'll move this across over here. Look at that burnt the bloody bench. And this is the thing, you, you don't know the one that you buy is going to be a good one or a bad one. This is our Piranha AOC. Ready, set, that's it. And then we'll show that it actually has been blown. So it's power there, nothing there. So our fuse is blown. There we go. So that's the safety factor and that's it. So guys, what we've got here, this is your conventional automotive fuse, which is designed to blow in an overload situation. When it blows, it's blown, you can't fix it, you simply replace it. But normally the reason these blow is because something's been squashed or shorted out, typically in something like a motor car accident or some situation where the car's had a catastrophic whack. This device, which is designed to do some of the things our, our smart AOC does, does some of the smart things, but what it does do is it gives you absolutely no protection, as you can see. The AOC replaces the fuse, 
It does the same job as a fuse, but it also has the electronic circuit pack in here that does the job of enhancing your output of your alternator. So this is the safe, Australian-made, warranted good solution. This is the cheap, internet, dodgy solution, and this is what originally came out of your car. So in conclusion, we've seen the dramas or the potential risk of using the internet-based substitute product, which is actually completely wrongly mislabeled as a fuse at one and a half amps. The reason back to, I guess, this whole thing is cars that have smart alternators typically want to get the voltage up so you can charge your batteries correctly. And if you're running batteries with different chemistries, like we're standing behind here, like AGM batteries, as you know, you need a higher voltage. So people quite often ask me, well, why does the car work and why does it have a smart alternator in the first place? And the answer is very simple. It's to do with emissions and to do with fuel economy. By turning the load of the alternator down to a lower level, we're able to actually improve our fuel economy and lower the emissions. The first of these smart alternators were simply temperature compensated, which means when the catalytic converter wasn't up to temperature, the alternator didn't charge. They've now got smarter and smarter and smarter, and that's where our problems become. Many of these cars are getting so clever now, they're bringing the voltage down so low low, it's barely keeping up with our Australian needs for charging dual batteries and charging aftermarket batteries like AGM batteries. So in a nutshell, our AOC device is not only safe, it works, it means we get our full output out of our alternator without having to resort to a DC-DC situation. Now just to go back one step, if you haven't got a dual battery system and you want to run a better quality battery in your car, then typically what's happening now is many of the manufacturers are going to calcium batteries like these things down here. Calcium batteries actually require a higher voltage. So if you're one of the lucky people that owns something like an Amarok or a Colorado or even a D-Max, these vehicles don't need an AOC. They don't need an alternator upgrade because they've actually already been upgraded by the manufacturer to give you the perfect charging scenario. So anything you add to it is actually going to make it worse. So guys, the future is actually looking fairly sunny. It's just that we have this range of vehicles like listed down here. Prado 120, Prado 150, Hilux, Land Cruiser, Land Cruiser, where we have these lower output alternators. And this is a wonderful device for fixing the problem. Thank you.